My very first experiences after I graduated as a doctor were on the lung cancer unit of a very big public hospital in Melbourne called the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. It was quite a uh, memorable way to start medicine. Nearly all of my patients passed away and it's something that I, I could never get over. I could never understand how this was just allowed to continue to happen. The real moment was that I was buying a house with my husband and the accountant sat us down and said, you really need to sort out your money. And I arranged a meeting with the representative from the pension fund. We had a discussion and he showed me how much money I had and I shook his hand and walked away. And completely as an afterthought, I came back and I said, oh, by the way, was I meant to tell you what to do with that money? And he said, oh, no, 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 you don't need to worry. It's completely taken care of. Look, there is this one greeny option for people who have a problem with investing in mining, alcohol or tobacco. And then I said, did you just say tobacco? And he said, yes. And I said, so are you telling me that I'm currently investing in tobacco? And he said, oh, yes, everybody is. The World Health Organization has estimated that if nothing changes today, we're on track for one billion deaths this century. We have doctors and nurses and health professionals all across the world doing their best to help those with tobacco-related disease. But if the finance sector continues to invest in and profit from the industry, we're missing this big opportunity. There's a big piece of the puzzle that is not being addressed. We will sell immediately all equity holdings in tobacco companies. I think May 2016 will always be remembered as a great month when it comes to tobacco control at a global level. We now have the USA, the European Union and Australia implementing tougher tobacco regulation. And in addition, in May, we have five countries implementing the plain packaging legislation. On top of that, we now have AXA's terrific announcement that they are going to stop investing in the tobacco industry. It's just fantastic for someone in the health sector to find people in the finance sector who are really willing to sit down and listen and act on this issue. And that all adds up to changing tobacco culture, which will save lives.